with uh, another fabulous Pinot Noir. This uh, Pinot Noir is actually from California. This is uh, Sonoma Valley. This is uh, the uh, family uh, Canihan. Canihan is a fantastic vineyard. They are biodynamic and dry farming, uh, meaning that there is no water irrigation. Uh, this is uh, what we do in France. Uh, in France, uh, if you don't know, uh, every vineyard in France doesn't have no right to actually irrigate their vineyards, so they all dry farming. So this is a perfect example for what the uh, California small artisan growers uh, can provide. This is 700 cases of wine, biodynamic dry farming, canny hand. This is a double gold medal in San Francisco Fair. Uh, this product is fantastic. It's made with Dijon clone Pinot Noir. Um, it's, it's, it's worth to try. It's very limited. But if you can grab one and grab your hand to it, just do it and you can find that on uh, winestreet.com. Uh, so I'm going to uh, obviously uh, getting that to the chef Christian that's here to work with us at the White Talk office where we're having a, a fantastic experience here with the Tarte Flambe. So uh, Christian, yes. uh, here we go. So I bring another uh, beautiful Pinot Noir to you. Oh my We're God. on a Pinot Noir day. It's a, such, such a pleasure today to be here and uh, testing those beautiful wine actually. Uh, Winestreet.com is where you can find them. Uh, definitely. So right here we have the uh, Canyon uh, Pinot Noir. This is uh, I'm, I'm bringing that over to you again because I know you love Pinot Noir and I want to be sure that you actually enjoy it. Oh, I, I miss myself a little bit. I need to get a little bit more. So the Canyon uh, Pinot Noir, Sonoma. Um, Christian, what do you think? Oh, it, it, it is beautiful nose again. Pinot, Pinot is wine that I want to drink every day, actually. It's my everyday wine. I always have a bottle of Pinot at home when I come home and uh, from a, you know, a, a day in the kitchen. And uh, it's like that relaxes me, actually. Fantastic. Mm. So it does have a little bit more of a, a little bit more intense than the uh, Oregon that we just try. What, what do you think about the flavors, complexity on that? I think very complex. It's a very elegant Pinot. I actually enjoy those those Pinots made in California now. Uh, you know, they are they are very elegant. They can actually pair very well with food. Uh, I'm thinking of California, California. What does that mean, California? California is such a great place to live and be, that's why we are here actually. Uh, I'm thinking of all those vegetables we grow, you know, vegetables, right. you know, all around Napa Valley and the Central Coast, we grow so many beautiful vegetables here. And I know White Talk actually carries some of those beautiful vegetables frozen, actually you can find them, I think, in the supermarket. And I'm going to try to use only those products. So I, I'm thinking uh, a little bit of a grilled uh, eggplant, grilled bell peppers and grilled zucchinis. Uh, they have a beautiful product. They are roasted yellow tomatoes that mm. are, you know, the beautiful. I think that would match perfectly. They have some artichokes. Always a bit of creaminess into the the, tar the Flemish tart, you know, the tart flambe, which I think I'm going to use goat cheese. Nice. Goat cheese to it. Uh, That's going to be a beautiful color. So right. It's going to be a rainbow on the top today. It's going to be a rainbow. So uh, this is a product from White Top, which is fantastic, actually, uh, a, a crumble goat cheese. It's already cut, it's already all cut in small pieces, it comes frozen, it's fantastic, it's very easy to manipulate. Uh, the goat cheese have that very light top flavor, which actually I think will go very well with that beautiful uh, ca canon uh, Pinot Noir that we have here. So, goat cheese on the bottom of the, of the top, and what we're going to do is actually lay those beautiful vegetables. They're already grilled, they're actually processed, there is no water that will come out of it. Uh, it's, it's fun to work with, and we have some bell peppers here. Hey, it's pretty convenient to have all those ready to go and just... Uh, it is fantastic, it is fantastic. Nice. What I like to do is first put a layer of cheese on the bottom, and then actually put a bit more cheese on top, because I love cheese. I mean, <laughs> this is my pêche mignon, like we say. A uh, little bit of artichoke. Cheese and wine. Uh, Nothing wrong with that. Nothing wrong with that. I think soon I'm going to have to look at... So this is the uh, artichoke that you have Little here. artichokes, they are beautifully, they, are, they have been processed, they are cooked, but they are white, which is very important, beautiful. because when you cook artichokes, they will turn brown very fast. You have to process it in a way that they stay in that color. And this is a beautiful product to use, actually. Easy so to use, yeah. Yeah, and, and what, is, what is really particular with the, with the white dog artichoke is they are, they are blanched with no citric acid, so they, they taste like a fresh artichoke. Nice. Yeah, absolutely. 
Absolutely, and I've tried it before. And Look at the colors of all those. Look at that. What, what is this one? Those are the roasted yellow tomatoes, which I really love. Uh, beautiful flavor into it. So here we are. I think we have a fantastic little vegetarian uh, tart flambe here. I think I'm going to get some more goat cheese, actually. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's, huh? never, it's, it's never enough of goat cheese. It's never enough of goat cheese. You need a lot of cheese. There. What you can do, actually, as well, is like having some herbs that you like, like maybe a basil or something like that. You can actually chop it at the end and put it on, on top of it, which is very nice to, to finish those beautiful tart flambe. So, absolutely. Oh, oh look, look at that. that. California. Beijing top flambe. Okay, Are we going to let it rest a little bit so the heat go away? It's going to be easier to cut. Mm. I can smell that from here. I'm ready. Here it is. There you go. Fantastic. Look at this beautiful slice here, Bruno. Enjoy this with that beautiful Pinot Noir. Let me take this. I'm going to eat that. Oh, fantastic and santé bonheur. Mm. I love it. Mm. It's amazing. Fantastic. fantastic. That will pair so well with the Canyon Pinot Noir from uh, Sonoma. Beautiful that would wine. Be perfect. That would Beautiful be wine. Perfect. Great job, chef. Thank really you. I appreciate that. Thank we'll, you. We'll see you in a minute. Thanks.